Howdy, peeps. <laughs> this is the week we're going to be talking about xylophones and making them here on rockfreakinsolid.com. Um, this, this is going to be a very basic uh, bit of math for this week's Mathematical Monday. Um, when you're making xylophone keys, you have to know where the nodes are. Let me show you a little diagram. Here's another example of my poor artistic ability. Okay, let's say this is a xylophone key, and you're looking at it from the side. It's being struck like this. Okay, and it wiggles and vibrates. You know, this is how it generally vibrates. The ends will vibrate like this, and the midsection will vibrate like that, and create the sound. Um, but right here and here are these points where there's very minimal vibration. Those are called the nodes. If you have a xylophone key and you're attaching it to the xylophone, if you're just having them on strings between a couple of things, or if you're having nails through them on like little rubber stoppers above and below them to provide a, a hold while allowing motion, however you're going to have them arranged, you have to have those points at the precise nodal areas because if you have it over here or over here you're going to dampen the sound and you're not really going to get anything clicky uh, well you're, you'll only get something clicky <laughs> let me show you an example now this example uses bamboo bamboo doesn't ring like metal or anything but it does have a bit of a tone to it you can see this smaller bar has is connected to this piece of wood off the nodes. Okay, so it's not going to sound like anything. Just barely. See what I'm saying? This one has the uh, points right where the nodes are. So you can just barely hear a B. Not sure if the camera microphone can hear that. But can you see the difference? This one is all dampened. You get nothing. This one You just have to know where the nodes are. And there's the little bit of math involved for finding that. It's a very simple bit of math. You just have to remember one number. You don't really have to do any math. It's more like a uh, key. Uh, 22.5. Can you remember that? 22.5. 22.5% of any xylophone key's length is how far in you want to go from each end in order to find the nodes to put them there. Like, like uh, uh, for ease of mental math, this is not 100 inches long, but let's just say it is. Hmm? This is 100 inches long. Uh, so therefore, 22 and a half inches in from this end and 22 and a half inches in from that end, and that's where you want to place where you, where you would... Yeah, um, that's where the nodes are, which is where you want to place however you attach the key to the xylophone, okay? That's pretty much all there is to it. Now, um, there's a bit more um, physics involved, but that kind of pertains to the design, how the keys are shaped, uh, what you're using for materials. That will be for Wednesday's post. Please tune in Wednesday and check it out. There will be more information in the text of today's blog post on this subject for today. There will be a link to today's blog post in the video description. Please click it and come on by. There'll be a lot more information to check out. Maybe not tons, but pertinent information. And there's also little goodies to be had, such as the Chromatic Tuning Software Program. That's a free download. You'll find it in the uh, one of the sidebars next to the blog post. Okay? Very excellent program. I used to use it constantly. Now I use one of these, just because I can carry it around anywhere, but you know, it's kind of hard to put my PC in my back pocket while I'm off into the uh, bamboo forest making flutes, you know. All right, well, that's it for today. Tune in Wednesday, peeps. See you then. Bye-bye.